Good morning, Seattle. I'm here in Seattle, Washington and have only one day to take in its iconic skyline, incredible cultural offerings, and scenery. I knew embarrassingly little about Seattle before this trip, so there were surprises around every corner. We have one day to see as much of Seattle as physically possible. So obviously we're starting with Pike Place Market. Right off the bat, we have tickets to go on a food tour and that mostly involves food. These walls are covered in bubble gum? What's the deal with this? I've never seen this much chewed, melting gum in my entire life. <laughs> Seriously? Welcome to the Gum Wall, the first stop on our appetizing food tour. In 1991, the theater company Unexpected Productions moved into this alleyway, and thanks to a ban on gum inside their theater, the patrons took the only next logical step, which was to put their gum on the wall as they waited in line. The gum was cleaned up over and over again, but the situation kept escalating until finally the city decided to turn the gum wall into a tourist attraction. In order to protect the wall from erosion, they clean this alleyway every single year. So what you see here is only one year's worth of accumulated gum. Thankfully, the rest of our tour was a delicious exploration of the enormous selection of local food available at Pike Place Market. We sampled Daily Dozen Donuts, Elno's Greek Yogurt, Beecher's Handmade Cheese, Pike Place Chowder, and so much more. It's obvious why Pike Place is one of the top attractions in Seattle, and I highly recommend arriving there hungry when you visit. All right, so in order to bus in Pike Place Market, you have to have a pass. The pass costs $30, and you don't even have to have the $30, because if you get accepted to be a busker, you can bus for the $30 that you have to pay to be a busker, which is amazing. You don't need anything at all except you know, two years waiting list. They have spots all around the market where you're allowed to busk and you can't stay there for more than an hour. You have to keep on moving and going from spot to spot. I think it's a really fair way to go about it. And it gives a lot of opportunity to musicians to sort of be seen. So that's really cool. Our next stop was a quick walk to the Seattle Underground Tour. Long story short, over 100 years ago, rampant fires and exploding toilets led to the raising of Seattle's streets by 12 to 30 feet, leaving the first floor of Seattle's buildings lost to time. Our hilarious tour guide made this tour one of the highlights of the day. We're going to Cupcake Royale, because apparently that's a place where cupcakes are delicious. Sugar. My Sunday of choice is a triple chocolate cupcake with uh, Stumptown Coffee ice cream. It's got a nice hefty coffee flavor to it. It's really sweet. And then I have chocolate and caramel drizzle on top and it's so good. <laughs> Full of sugar, we walked a mile to the Space Needle Park where we took some time to enjoy the Chihuly Garden and Glass Museum. The gorgeous colors, textures, and scale of his work was so special to experience in person. After spending a while in the museum, we took the elevator up the Space Needle and ended up staying there all the way until sunset. <laughs> oh, wow. This view is just top notch. Why does this make me nervous? This is cooler than I imagined. This is way cooler than I imagined. Whoa, 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 we're moving. <laughs> oh my god. We are moving. This is this is bizarre. Does it always move? Yep. Holy heck! That's how we're turning right there. 
This is so wild. What? You know what this means? If I pin the Where's GoPro that? to my chest and sit, turn on the time lapse and stay very still, I can at least get a decent time lapse of life. When I get sick of sitting and waiting on the time lapse, that's when the time lapse runs. My legs are numb from that, but it was worth it. My mom always says, when you see a new city, always go somewhere up high so you can see the city. And I didn't think that the Space Needle would be a good place to do that, because I wanted the Seattle skyline, which has got to include the Space Needle, right? But that was heckin' fun. That was amazing. So now that the sun has gone down, uh, I still would like that skyline shot of Seattle. I was told that Cary Park would be a good place to get a skyline shot, so uh, that's about a 25 minute walk from the Space Needle, and we're tired. <laughs> I'm tired, like, my muscles hurt, but I think it's worth it. So we're gonna do a 25 minute walk, do a couple shots, and then we'll be done with our day in Seattle. There are hills in this city. <laughs> Big hills. <laughs> Welcome to episode 92 of Claire whining while she climbs a mountain. <laughs> now featuring <sighs> Seattle. Seattle, why are you secretly San Francisco? Oh my god, look how pretty downtown's gonna be. This is gonna be so worth it. Yep. Gosh. Cary Park was full of people enjoying the view and was everything I hoped it would be. When we finished up there, we were starving, so we grabbed a lift over to Bellevue to try Mark's favorite dumplings in the world at Din Tai Fung. This is a shredded pork fried rice. We have shrimp and pork wontons up next. That's good. This is really authentic. <laughs> all, the, all the Asian food that we're having in Seattle is very, very authentic. This restaurant is kind enough to provide you with instructions on how to eat soup dumplings, which I really could have used during my first experience eating soup dumplings. Our Shalom Pao is here. Yummy! These look absolutely amazing. <laughs> the proper way to eat Xiao Long Bao, you pick it up with your chopsticks, you put it on your spoon, you poke a little hole in it, and you let the soup kind of come out. Drink the soup, oh, there we go. <laughs> Drink the soup a little bit, and you can eat it, hopefully without burning your mouth. That's good dumpling right there. So you put it in the sauce first, and then you poke at it? I generally don't bother poking. Oh, you're just asking for trouble, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks so much for spending the day in Seattle with me. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to continue traveling together, and I will see you on my next trip. Thank <laughs> you.